Okay. So I actually have a lightning talk as well, but I didn't uh, want to be a dick and cut somebody off. So, um, oh. Well. Okay. So um, I actually kind of realize I'm a little bit sick today, which you may have noticed in my energy level and nasally voice. Um, so I apologize that I don't think I actually introduced myself at the beginning of the day. Um, so I'm, my name is Scott Chacon, and I, I work at GitHub, and I've been kind of helping put this thing together. Um, but the lightning talk that I'd like to give today is on a project of mine um, that's sort of a, a really long-lived project, which is um, the Git SEM website and, and some of the stuff that, that uh, comes out of that. So uh, I maintain the Git SEM.com website. Um, right now, it is a basically a community portal. So it tries to take people that are new to Git and teach them, you know, how to get started in it as easily as possible. So I know that a lot of you are from companies that are trying to get Git uh, adopted, or some of you are trainers or have done work trying to teach people Git um, that you work with. And so I really appreciate any feedback that you have. Um, if you guys, you know, say this this resource sucks or you know, this thing is not good, or this is the problems that, that users that I know have had trying to adopt Git or use it successfully. Um, I'd really appreciate that feedback in trying to make this resource better for users. Um, if you're core developers, I know there are a number of them in the room right now, um, this is the website that we have on, on GetSEM.com right now. GetSEM.com is not a developer community portal. It's not really useful for developers of Git. It's useful for developers who use Git, right? Um, and so the entire community list is this. So if you're somebody who's new to Git and wants to get involved in Git, all you have is this one page, and it's not particularly great. Um, so I'd like to have, if anybody has ideas of tools that would help uh, you know, people on board as developers of Git, new developers to the Git project, I'd love to hear that. I'd love to sort of hack on that tomorrow a little bit. Um, so if you have ideas or something, please let me know. Um, and then uh, the next thing is for sort of users of Git, which is um, I also wrote this book, the Pro Git book that was published by APRESS, and it's Creative Commons license. Then it is, if you click on the documentation book link, this is a book you can read online and search through and all that stuff. And the reason we were able to do that is because it's Creative Commons license and because I, I own it, so I can basically do whatever the hell I want with it. Um, so uh, they've been pushing me to, they've been asking me to write a second edition of this, and I really don't want to because it takes a lot of time and it's really kind of shitty, but uh, at the same time, they make you, I don't know, if anybody wants to commiserate over how difficult it is to write a book in Microsoft Word, uh, let me know because it is basically the worst process on the planet. Um, uh, it literally is, I was writing a book on version control and like emailing chapter one dot doc like to people and then having them edit it and send it back, and I was like, this is so unmeta. This is this is awful. Um, so uh, so, anyways, it's in Markdown. The entire book is in Markdown. Um, it's on it's on GitHub, pro git slash pro git. If nobody's seen this, there's like a hundred uh, uh, translations. Some of them are partial. Some of them are relatively full. Um, but I do want to start doing a second edition because a lot of it is out of date. And so um, I've had a couple people tell me that they like the book, um, you know, even here today. And uh, what I would really like is that sort of comma but. So if you have read the book or you know people who have read the book um, and you have a, a comma but, like a sort of a long, awkward pause and then... But the one thing is I, I want to hear those things, right? Because I'd like to make the second edition... Um, sort of slowly, like uh, in the community, so I want to be publishing it a piece at a time onto the website and get feedback from people and say, um, you know, here are the, the weaknesses that the book has now, here's how new users could uh, get up to speed better or learn the system better, I think. Um, and I could publish it slowly over time and then at the end give it to APRESS and say, okay, it's fine, you can publish this now. Um, as opposed to going through the, the process that they make me do. So um, that's what I'd like to do. So you don't have to help me write it all, you know, that, that's, that's not necessary. But if you go to this repo and you add an issue and say, here are some things that I've seen of people that have read this book or that I've sent to this book where they still have problems with these sections, I'd really appreciate it because I would like this to be a really good resource um, for people moving forward and so that you don't necessarily have to teach people. If your colleague comes up to you and says, you're really good at Git, right? How do you do this? Um, you can help them once or you can like, you know, sort of teach them to fish by, um, like you, uh, 
by, by, by sending them to this website, right? If you, if you personally tell them how to do that, then they're just going to keep coming back to you all the time. So um, I want to make it a really nice way to, to sort of send somebody off. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, please help me write the second, second edition of this book so that you know, it's easier to teach people get. Um, and then I just want to close on sort of a, since uh, uh, we were talking about Git TF, uh, sort of the, the hidden, sort of a hidden stupid trick of GitHub, which you may or may not know about. Does anybody know about GitHub Subversion Bridge? Like a couple of people. So you can actually, here, I'll type this out. You can actually, every single Git, Git, GitHub is the world's largest subversion repository. So I don't know if you knew that. Um, but you can actually say, SVN checkout, hold on. Actually, any Git repository, you can just do subversion checkout, and it will check out that repository via subversion. Um, so every single repository in GitHub this works for. Um, so if you're in a company where you're on subversion now and you want to move to, you know, you, you want to move stuff to GitHub and people are still on subversion and that's a blocker of some sort, um, this works. You can actually also commit to this and push over it. Um, it's sort of an interesting story if anybody ever wants to talk uh, in a deeply nerdy level about sort of the, the subversion HTTP protocol um, and how we, we made this work. It's, it's deeply nerdy and sort of stupid, but um, incredibly fun to me. So um, that's it. That's all the lightning talk. So now, thank you very much. Um, are there any questions on that stuff? Oh, thank you. <laughs> are there any questions on, yes? How close are the links to? get some water real fast. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I literally, literally couldn't speak. Um, okay, so that's, that's problematic just because I don't speak to the people that translate the, the, the core documentation. That's what you're talking about. Um, I don't really have, A, I'm not a translator, and B, I don't speak German, and C, I don't speak the other 20 languages that the book's translated into. So, like, what I've been trying to do is sort of choose somebody that seems like they're, uh, that, that does a lot of work translating it, and then merge that in, and then let that sub-community sort of, uh, you know, figure out who's better at stuff. And so, basically, on my part, whatever the first pull request that comes in, I merge it, because there's no way for me to double check it, and there's not enough people involved to, um, and it's a lot of work to go through and translate an entire book, right? Um, so, um, you know, that, that, especially if it's like Chinese or Japanese or something, like I have, I have absolutely no concept if this is working well or not when I, when I merge it in. Um, and so I just kind of have to rely on the community to, to figure out what it is. Um, we may at some point get a little bit more serious and hire some, like have GitHub hire some translators to try to make some of this stuff uh, better because it's useful to the entire community and it's useful to GitHub for people to be able to learn Git easier. Um, and so we, I might consider doing that for the second edition is having some professional translators, but 30 is probably a little bit overkill. So, I mean, I, I would love to speak to more people about that, but like every time, it, it, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sort of the moderator for the thing, and it's really difficult for me to moderate. Like, I have no concept of really what your argument was between, like, germish and, I don't know, is that what you said? Um, and, and, like, you know, strict technical German or something. Like, I, I don't, I, there's no way for me to, to fix that. So, I mean, if you know people that are good at that and are interested, then that'd be great. But, like, it's, it's so small of a community, it's hard to find those people. Um, yeah? We should talk. Okay. That's oh, yeah. I mean, Okay, yeah, I'd love to. I would love to. That'd be great. I, I would love to. I mean, it's been, I, 
It depends on the translation. Some of them are hugely popular. Like in China, for example, the, the Chinese translation is unbelievably popular. Um, it's, it's probably, it's, it's a huge amount of the traffic to the website and the Russian one as well. Um, and then a lot of them are not, so like German is actually really low, po possibly because it's a fairly, like, it's a weird translation in that they kept a lot of the English and then added German underneath it. So like you go through and they literally have like blocks of both. And that's how they wanted to do it. That's how that community wanted to do it. And so I just kind of accepted it. I, I kind of want to fix it. But, but also because, you know, most technical Germans that I've, I mean, now I'm going into, most technical Germans that I've met speak English as well. And so a lot of them prefer the English documentation when they're reading this. I mean, it just depends on, you know, who I'm talking to, I suppose. But, but much more so than, than uh, like, China, where, they're, like, English is not really a technical, like, thing that you have to do in college in order to be successful in that field. So, um, I don't know. Uh, but I would love to talk to you about that. Okay. One more question. Yes. Regarding uh, the subversion, uh, do you have support for exponents? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Because, I mean, it's subversion. It's a subversion client. And so it pulls down the references. If you have the references in, 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 in well, how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember how it's stored, because I believe it's stored in a like, .svn file, right? That, that, yeah, so if you commit that into the repository yeah. um, and then pull it down, then subvert, but I mean, it's not going to work for Git people cloning that. Yeah, it's so, not pointing to the GitHub then. Yeah, but, uh, but the SVN externals, I, I know people that have a subversion project that have SVN externals that are uh, Git repositories on GitHub. So like um, subvert, like library, like PHP libraries, this is very common, where libraries will move over to GitHub. It's one of the reasons we did this. Is so libraries can move over to GitHub where people using Subversion for their main project can clone it, and it has a GitHub URL in it, and it still does a Subversion checkout of that, right? Um, so it's very popular in sort of the PHP like uh, uh, library community. Yes, for doing for doing. Uh, I'm trying to remember some of the names of the projects there, but anyways. So, but um, but yeah, I mean, any any of the server side stuff, it just speaks to DAV, the S Subversion DAV protocol, so it, it covers most of those those cases. Anybody else? Okay, so uh, what time is it?